Why you come down here? Why? Cry? Fly? Sigh? Die? That's why. Welcome to Rate JA, where we rate everything that embodies Jamaica. Today, we'll be counting down the top three Mafia moments in the Oliver at Large series. Valer Johnson, who has been performing in theatre since high school, is a renowned Jamaican actor who co-starred as Mafi in Oliver at Large. We Jamaicans can all agree that Oliver and Mafi is arguably one of the best Jamaican comedic duo we've ever seen. When these two come together, is that the stars them align and we know say it's a comedic explosion with jokes here, there and everywhere. And honestly, I believe this and all his other productions just speaks to how legendary, versatile and awesome of an actor Sir Valier Johnson is. And so we'll be looking at three of his most iconic moments. So get ready to laugh as we unveil our top picks. If Sir Valier Johnson ever make you laugh a pea soup, then like, share, and certainly subscribe. Thank you. Number three, the legacy. You can surely leave it up to Muffy to come with some questionable proposals. To con an old man out of his supposed riches that his nephew Beefhead would receive upon his debt, Muffy, the real private eye, scouted Oliver to play the role of the nephew. Now we must give credit to Muffy because for him to be always convincing Oliver to join him on his schemes is one great accomplishment. If you should ask me, Muffy could go down in history as one of the best Jamaican salesmen. He could sell it anything. Oliver put it this way. Muffy, you know sometimes I feel so you're who I am eh? And if you really stop to check it out, the man's so slippery. That's when the plan gone to naught. him just take away himself quicker than the taxi man them are put more mal on them see police. The proof can be seen when he and Oliver found out that the old man's riches was not of this world, but of a heavenly one instead. If him can't find his Joseph, he plan to leave all their money to the post. Post? One dozen posts. <laughs> one dozen rich posts. No, viewing this thing from a religious point of view, mm. I figure with so much hungry human being around the world, it would be sinful to leave all that money to post. <laughs> hey. Hey. I figure we'll be doing humanity a great service. By making the post, don't get that money. I agree with you. Number two, the treasure. Now in this episode, when you almost thought Oliver got out of Muffy's convincing grip and was going to leave Muffy up to him conniving works, he realized that nothing no go so. Instead, Oliver stole his idea and went to go mash the works first before Muffy. What works you may be asking? Simple. The works of trying to romance a mad, mad, mad woman who has an alleged treasure that is worth a whole heap of money. Ultimately, Mafia and Oliver agree to work together and we end up in the same predicament. And you can bet any money you have that Mafia would insist that Oliver deal with the romance inside of things. You're mad! Mad? Sad? Glad? Oh, you're just a play fool for Kent twice! It's the treasure you after. Treasure? Pleasure. Ledger. Major. Before we reveal our number one pick, here's an honorable mention. And your art, if you give generously. Mafi, you can't I not say People then this might suspect you if all you can say is give generously. Ah. Hello, Sister Myrtle. How you doing? Give generously. Look, them know that means a church treasurer, man. My main interest is in the collection. Number 1. Mafi P.I. After Private Eye, Mafi Cardoza began his own private investigation firm. He would then go on to convince Oliver to be his partner in the venture. And after detailing and presenting sketchy arrangements of the venture, Mafi went to the first art of business which was to make Oliver play the decoy Bonaman to a woman whose husband suspects that she is cheating. And of course, you can trust that Muffy won't turn the tables and leave Oliver with all the mess in the man. And trust me, God alone did go with Oliver, cause Muffy never go at all. And after Muffy double-crossed Oliver by pretending that Oliver was the real Bonaman and the mentioned husband, 
beat up Oliver, wicked, wicked, wicked. Only Muffy could go to a better than bruised Oliver and tell him, say, he make all the plans gone to ruin. Because you go confess, the man refused to pay me my money. The man I called police, promised him he's a fraud. Ten thousand dollars was this close, Oliver. All he had was to do was keep your mouth shut. Keep my mouth shut. I made the man kill me. And here ends our list. Whether you agree with it or not, the point is, Volier Johnson is an actor and a legend who has left an indelible imprint and joy on the hearts of the Jamaican people. And I love to see your face when you see my picture in a newspaper, boy. In loving memory of Matthew. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.